in the previous part we have seen that how we can create inference let me show you first we downloaded the nltk package in a particular directory and before that we have loaded our pickle files then we write a pre-processing step again without using pandas and we got the prediction finally we created a script and downloaded the script along with the model pickle files and the nltk data so now we are in our directory here we can see that we have app.py models folder and nltk data folder i have opened vs code and you can see that model nltk app.py so the first thing i need to do is to create uh, is to create a virtual environment for that i will do python 3 dash m virtual environment and the name of virtual environment this will create a virtual environment next i will activate the virtual environment there are three packages that i'm going to install first is the nltk second is the scikit-learn and third is the py installer One thing I would like to mention that right now the version of our these two packages particularly NLTK and scikit-learn is different from the Google Colab. So this will give you some warnings. If you want to avoid those warnings you can keep the version same when you are training the model and pickling the model and when you are loading the model. Right now we have both version different so that this will give us a warning and we can ignore these warnings. Now I have to install my installer. Sometimes the install, sometimes the creation of executable file is quite easy. At some time, it become quite difficult. So we will see how much it will be easy for us, or how much it will be difficult for us. Now I have installed the scikit-learn, NLTK, and the file installer. The script is the same we have seen earlier. The only thing I have done is that I have commented the NLTK download function because we have already downloaded these files in the directory here. Okay. One more thing I would like to mention that if you open your model file, it should have these three files count factorizer, label encoder, and logistical regression. There shouldn't be an extra folder inside your main folder that is model. Similarly, in NLTK data, there should be a folder called corpora and they, there should not be an intermediate folder. Let's say the corpora folder should not be inside another folder and that folder is in NLTK. So this should be kept in mind because when you are zipping this file and when you are unzipping this, this there might be some extra folder in between. Okay, keep that in mind. Now I will create the executable file using file installer. The one, one, the one file make sure that you have only one file, the executable file. If you ignore this parameter, you can have multiple files and the user, the end user can also view your model and can use your model with scikit-learn. But if you use one file, it can, he cannot separate your model from your executable file. This will take some time and let me go to one more file which is generated right now app.spec this is very important file in this file there are two things that we need to consider one is the data list and another is the hidden import list these two lists are very important let's say in the data folder we give the path of our in the data variable, we will give the path of our folder such as models and NLTK data. And in the hidden import, import, let's say if we are using a package, for example, Seaborn, and Seaborn is not picking by the our executable, then we have to pass the path or the name in the hidden imports. Okay, our 
execute executable file has been completed but i think it will give an error if i am trying to execute it let me open a new terminal and in this terminal let me clear everything i will move to dist folder because our executable file is in the dist folder if i run the app you can see that it says that no such file or directory models logisticregression.tkl one way this the very simple way is that you can add your file like this way data sorry models and the name again models keep in mind this should be a tuple and you need to create another tuple for the analytic data sometimes these two steps are enough that you actually this is one step sometimes this one step is enough and next you have to do is that you have to create your execute executable file again right now the process of creation of executable file is bit different you have to use let's say python dash m file installer keep in mind that the p and i are capital and then you have to pass the spec file and one more thing you need to run this command in the this terminal in the where the file is located let me clear that and here is the app dot spec file this will again take some time and we can we will see that whether our issue is being resolved or not which is actually the directory is not found meanwhile i can tell you if you are getting an error that your package is not found how you can handle that issue let's say if you are using a package for example named as cbond you have to import a module called collect sub modules from file installer sort utils sort now you have to pass your package name to this sub module function let's say i name a data variable as hidden and let's say hidden c bond this is my variable name then i use the collect sub modules function and then i pass c bond which is the name of my package which is partially being ignored by the executable file and then i can pass this hidden c bone to this hidden import variable let's say if i have two variables one is the c bone and let's say other is the pandas for example then i have to pass pandas to the black sub module and then i have to add this to the list because these both are list so i can add them as list right now we are not going to have this error but if you are going to have this error like some libraries are not found then you have to adopt this method i'm going to delete that because right now our we are not going to face this issue okay our executable file has been created after adding the data path 
after adding the folder path to the data list now go to the other terminal and here let click layer that and run app dot again okay most of the time the issue will be resolved by just adding these two lines in the data but sometime it won't resolve so you have to go to this github issue and you can copy this line and you can paste it in the app.py file one thing let me okay now it's fine now we need to change the path of every let's say now we need to change the path for example this is my my model path i can name it as classifier path and it should be the same with the vectorizer path and i can let's say copy this first one Lastly, we have to do the same with the encoder path. The process is that when PyInstaller is going to create an executable file, it is going to put all of your folder the which are in the data list in a temporary file and you have to attach the path accordingly now let's run the setup again we need to create the exec executable file again using python-m pyinstaller app.spec okay this will take some minute or less than a minute and till then we will wait and after that we will see again whether our model is working or still we are getting the path errors okay this has been completed now i will move to the the terminal which is actually nothing but i have the this directory in that folder in that terminal so i will do app and now this gives me a different error actually the error is that i haven't passed the argument like the text so i will pass how are you and it will say that prediction of how are you is not it means that how are you is not offensive the other warning which i have told you is because of the mismatching of the version when we are training and picking the data and when we are loading the data similarly if i pass another sentence like how are you stupid let's say what we got this time we still got not offensive maybe we need to change the sentence Okay, this there is also spelling error. That's why it failed to get the correct meaning of the sentence. Okay, you can see that I pass. You are stupid, and it say it is offensive. So this is the end of this tutorial in which we have seen how we can create a an executable file. One thing, if you haven't correct make the path in the correct way. Sometimes you can even get it running because your executable file have access to this folder, the models and the NLTK. So I am going to copy this app.py file and I am going to put it in another directory so that there is no chance that these this file has access to my data folders. So I will open another terminal and I will do app and how are you?
you, you can see that even the virtual environment is no is not activated still we can get the prediction that our view is not fancy so this is the end of this tutorial in which we have seen how we can convert our script into an executable format so that whenever we want to ship it someone can use it even without the internet let me and the next thing we will do is that we will do the same process but with the api and for that we will use aws aws lambda fast api docker and a lot of other things stay tuned for that tutorial thank you